that is law of interaction. And what does Newton's third law of motion says? Newton's third law of motion deals with the reaction of a body when a force exerted on it. So let's say for example, a body A exerts a force on body B. So body B will also react against this force and exerts a body on the bo on body A. So kung bagay sa law of interaction, kaya sinabi natin na law of interaction says that in every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So for example, itong wall. So sumandal ako dyan. So meron bang force? Yes! So may force ako na nilalaan dito as well as yung wall na tumutulak din naman sa akin. Kaya siya sinabi na there is an equal and opposite opposite. There is an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, let's say for example, I am the body A and this wall is the body B. So when I uh, when I exert force, when I exert force in the wall, there is also a reaction on the body itself. Okay, so the force exerted by body A on B, okay, is the action force. So yung force na nilagay ko nung sumandal ako dyan, is yun yung action force. But, the force exerted by body B on A, so yung force na inexert ng wall sa akin, ang tawag naman dun ay reaction force. So, in law of interaction, we have the action force and reaction force. So, yun yung tatandaan nyo. Again, in law of interaction, it says that to every action, there is always an equal but opposite reaction. So, according to this law, the action is always accompanied by reaction force and the two forces must always be equal and opposite. Equal. Alin yung equal doon? <laughs> equal yung reaction, pero opposite din ang reaction. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Note that action and reaction forces act on different bodies. And remember that Newton's third law of motion tells us four characteristics of forces. Yes, may apat na characteristics yan. Una, forces always occur in pair. Yan. Yung kanina sinabi natin, kaya siya pair dahil meron tayong reaction at may action. Okay, number two, character, second characteristic, action and reaction are equal in magnitude. So, kung ano yung force na nilagay ko nung sumandal ako sa pader, yun din po yung, re, yung force na inexert sa akin nung pader. So, laging equal yung magnitude. Di ba pag sinabi natin magnitude, yung strength ng force na inexert ng bawat body sa isa't isa. Third characteristics, action and reaction are opposite in direction. Paano yun? So, for example, sumandat ako dyan. So, yung force ko, ang, ang direction niyan, papunta doon sa pader. Pero yung pader naman, yung force niya, papunta sa akin. So, kumbaga, opposite yung direction. Kasi papunta doon, and then yung, yung wall naman is papunta sa akin. So, ganun. So, pag nakaupo ka naman, ayan, kagaya niya, nakaupo ako ngayon. So, yung force ko is pababa. Pero yung ine-exert na force nung upuan sa akin ay pataas naman. Pero same lang kami ng force na binibigay. Kaya nga, action and reaction are uh, equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. And fourth characteristic of third law of motion, action and reaction act on different bodies. Siyempre, kaya nga, pair lagi sila, di ba? Magkaiba yung body. So, kagaya ko, ako yung first body, yung body A, at yung body B is yung wall. Okay, I will give you examples of law of motion where we can see that there is an action force and there is a reaction force. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, a pushing car. Yung tinutulak. Ano tinutulak? So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron ulit siyang arrow. So, take a look of the arrow. Diba? Opposite yung kanilang direction. So, the action force is the man pushes the car, while the reaction force is the car pushes the man. So, when making a push to the car, yung force ay na-exert, 
a force is exerted to the car or in a car while yung reaction will push us directly in the same force in the opposite direction. Yan. So, tinulak yung car. So, nagkaroon ng force papunta dun, pero yung car, nag exert din siya papunta dun sa man. Number two. Okay, second example. Look at the picture. Okay, it's a man hitting a ball or a bat hitting the ball. Okay, what have you observed? Yan. There is an action force wherein the bat hits the ball. Well, the reaction is the, the ball hits the bat. So, pag nag tayo ng amount of force against the ball with the bat, and then in which in reaction exert the same force on the wood or dun sa bat na nga. So, kaya ang tendency niyan is kapag tinamaan ng bola, tinamaan ng bat yung bola, so ang tendency niyan is minsan ay mag-break or that is why the bat can break while the balls are thrown. So, opposite ulit ang direction niyan. Pero same lang din ang force niyan. Okay, example number three, a deflating balloon. Yan. Sumingaw na yung, ano, yung air dun sa balloon. Okay, as you can see, our action force is the air inside the balloon rushes down and the reaction force, the balloon moves upward. So, nung na-release, yung hangin niyan, pababa. So, yung force niyan is pababa, pero yung reaction naman, so since pababa na nga yung uh, air inside the ball, so ang tendency nung balloon is umakyat naman siya pataas at yun yung naging reaction force niya. So the air inside rushes down and the balloon moves upward. So in this situation, we can see that the action is uh, by the balloon that pushes the air out of it when setting free. And the reaction of the air which escapes out from the balloon acts on it. Another example of interaction force pairs. Consider the flying motion of birds. A bird flies by use of its wings. The wings of a bird push air downwards. Since forces result from mutual interactions, the air must also be pushing the bird upwards. The size of the force on the air equals the size of the force on the bird. The direction of the force on the air downwards is opposite the direction of the force on the bird upwards. For every action, there is an equal in size and opposite in direction reaction. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Action-reaction force pairs make it possible for birds to fly. This is the end of our lesson vlog for Law of Interaction. I hope you learned something from this vlog. This is me, Teacher Tin, your science teacher for today. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science Day. Bye! See you on our next vlog. Our topic is all about balance and unbalanced forces. See you! May subscribe ka na? Subscribe naman! Yon, salamat! Bye! Para sa'yo?